And we are live. Welcome everybody to a very, very special live stream. Today I have with me in the flesh, Dr. Sandra Rose Michael, and we're going to be talking all about a few different topics, the energy enhancement system technology, TLS, the light system organization, unified healing, India, and everything that comes up in between. So First of all, thank you for coming. Thank you for being here. Yeah, happy to be back here with you. What, Last time you were here also in person. Yeah. Awesome. W what a year it's been. Yeah. <laughs> Almost yeah. a year. So the, the name of this show is A Year of Miracles. And we're doing this show in honor of something that's happening in just about three days from now. On the 27th of May, we have an awesome documentary coming out that Sandra, myself, and a team of incredible people got on like three airplanes to get to India, to like a remote part of India that happens to be a very holy city in India called Tirupati. And on behalf of Unified Healing and EE System, we came together, we donated a 24 unit energy enhancement system to an ashram to make it open and free for everybody over there and everybody in the country. So before we start the discussion today, I wanna to show everybody a trailer of this documentary. Yeah. And there is a link to watch it in the description below. Uh, I'm excited to watch it. I haven't seen any of it yet. <laughs> Check it out. There we go. I ask each and every one of you today, as you watch this, keep in mind what your purpose is. When we can look around ourselves, no matter what country you're from, and we can all confidently say, we have what we need, and we're here to support each other and love each other. That's my purpose. That's my work. That's my mission. And I invite you on that journey with me. So what can people expect over here when they come in addition to, you know, free access to the energy enhancement system technology? If you want to get 100% success, means your outer journey and inner journey, it must be balanced. If you want to be celebrating your life forever, then you have to make an inner journey. And obviously, anything uh, spiritual would be the expansion of self consciousness, uh, the connection with their higher self. I think that the two in combination, uh, the technology's energy enhancement system. So we found that if people could go to a deeper meditational state than a Tibetan monk in approximately seven minutes. Really, really powerful, ideal, optimal meditation states. That's part of the main intentionality of the technology that brings you to that place where you're no longer taking all your energy just to cope, but instead you have access to that power and light and love within you that allows you to affect everything around you. Meditation is a technology and it's going to enhance that. So anything that people are going to do that are going to expand and uh, ascend, try and reach higher levels is going to be exponential to show you exactly how we can get to this new world through actions that we're taking. But most importantly, to show you how we can all collectively make a change by taking that action. So I invite you on this journey with us today. And I look forward to seeing what you do after experiencing what the journey has to offer. So that entire documentary is, of course, free for the entire world. It's actually coming out on the one-year anniversary of when our first interview came out. So May 27th is the date at the same exact time, 12 p.m. Eastern time is when that whole thing is out. That's really cool. That's the first I've seen any of it. That's pretty amazing. But what an amazing journey that was. That yeah. was incredible. Why don't we talk about the past year? I know, I know, you know, we both have our own perspectives and then we have perspectives together because of how much traveling we've been doing together. But this past year has been incredible. It's been expansive. It's it's blown up out of anything that I can even begin to comprehend. And it's been equally as fun as it has been hard because there are a lot of things that come up all the time. There's a lot of moving pieces, but, and I always say, this isn't because of me. This isn't because of Sandra. This isn't because of one person doing something. This is because everybody came together and chose to step up and hear this call to action. So mm -hmm. that's really why we're standing here today. That's why we're able to do this today. That's why we were able to go to India and make documentaries like this and bring it to over 25 countries in less than 12 months. In three days, we have that 12 month anniversary. So 
How's the past year in terms of what you've been seeing? You've been doing this I mean, longer than I've been alive. So what, what has your experience been over the past year versus all the others? Yeah, that's correct. I mean, it's all been building to this time as like, oh, we, we were, you know, we had the technology has been all over the world for so long and the miracles just that's what we live for is the miracles and we've seen those since the late 90s and the initial clinicals in 2001 and then all over the world mostly private homes around the bed and there was something like 20 centers or something when when we started with this project I just thought it was another interview you know so I'm wearing this my save the kids t-shirt and that's what it's all about that's what's always all been about but then that first interview on me that came out May 27th the revolution of healing that was um, you know I was getting ready to do a fundraiser for Scott McKay and um, but also that's been the work of TLS because that's how you showed up on my radar mm -hmm. is talking about saving the kids. Hundred percent. Let's let's go back there for a second. I know mm -hmm. some people it's happening rarer and rarer, which means we're getting the word out. But some people say, well, what is that? What is TLS? So just to give everybody a backstory, and it's spoken about in the documentary as well. But a super simplified version of how I pretty much was brought into this picture was I didn't really understand what was going on. I was asked to interview Dr. Sandra Rose Michael. I, I honestly, I just moved to Miami at the time. She knows this. I was just like, I want to go to sleep. I want to rest. <laughs> and we did that interview. And you know, I knew it was going to be bigger because they were, and I, I just didn't, didn't understand. The interview. I always put things off that way. Waiting is waiting for the right time yeah. because we always knew that when it's time, it has to be everywhere fast so it can't be stopped that was always the message that. that you said that they told you always the message and yeah. the original message with tls so part of the original discussion that when it's time then it has to be everywhere fast before that it was all over the world mostly in private homes but it's kind of like earth acupuncture and it was laying the foundations doing the homework doing the research and being ready for when it's time. 100%. <laughs> so we certainly didn't expect 70,000 emails in like the first 24 hours. It's awesome. When, I don't know what happened. I, I don't know what happened. I, <laughs> but shift hit the fan. <laughs> that much I do know. And we were going, oh my God, holy shit. <laughs> so, so today, one year later, first of all, I want to just say thank you to all of you today on the network that we've built over here, specifically with Unified Healing. We have 270 locations around the world as of this morning. That's the latest update in over 25 countries. The goal is to bring this to over 100 countries by 2025. And just recently, we started a program called the Helping Hand Initiative. I'm actually going to show you guys what this is all about for anybody that isn't aware of what it's about, because it started helping a lot of people that don't know about this, bringing it into their work, into their awareness and make it a whole lot more affordable as well. So if you go to unifiedhealing.com forward slash THHP, it will bring you to this page right over here. And on this page, it shows you a little, you know, advertisement about what this whole thing is about with an explanation of the Helping Hand program. But basically, Unified Healing came together with EES and we said, listen, we want to bring this to countries that aren't on that map. And those countries that aren't on that map in the, in the beginning, I looked at it and I said, why aren't they there? You know, why don't we have them in South America yet? Why aren't they here? Why aren't they, you know, all over the place where there aren't pins, but they're so everywhere where there are pins. And the main idea and the main conclusion that we came down to was, well, those places can't necessarily afford it, both for centers and the people going to the centers. So we put together this program that created something called the 30-30-30 plan. And basically, it's 30% off a unified healing contract in those countries specifically that are listed below. EE system was nice enough to give 30% off their units, which saves you up to about $40,000 on a 24-unit system. And the rule over there to keep it fair across the board so everybody is treated fairly is you can't charge more than $30 an hour. That way it's in ratio across the board and everybody is able to experience and benefit from this. And we've had a lot of people ever since we're starting in South America, South Africa, India, South America, uh, Egypt, Central America, and Mexico. 
the asterisk, by the way, I don't know if you know this, means no. that you can't bring it to a five-star hotel and oh, okay. operate under something like <laughs> no that. No five-star so, uh, the, the, location the, the, the point, qualified for this deal. Okay. Yeah, the point over here is to help people really in need that need it. So right. thankfully, we've been having a lot of people that have been signing up for this, and it's been helping a lot of people. So we're able to do it. You know, it should really, really help. I, I found that a lot of people didn't know that it came out in Spanish uh, like a week ago or so. Yep, a little, yep, yep. Yeah. And and, and I think that's huge. That's going to really help those uh, South American countries and stuff. hundred percent. That needs shared. And like I said, everybody I talked to didn't know it was out. It's like, oh my gosh. So 100%. they're excited. That interview that Sandra is speaking about is the initial interview for May 27, 2022, The Revolution of Healing. We went out of our way to translate it into Spanish, put it out. That's on my YouTube channel as well for everybody to watch and start spreading it into those regions of the world because language is a barrier. You know, I learned that only 15% of the world speaks English as a first language. Wow. I yeah. didn't realize it was only 15%. I thought it was much higher. But yeah, that's that's where the wow. research brought us. It's crazy. Yeah. It's crazy. So yeah. India is obviously already happened. That documentary is coming out, but there are other things. I don't, I don't know if you even know about all of them. So I'm going to fill you in on some of them as well. <laughs> yeah, because we haven't even had time to catch up. Yeah, yeah. I caught busy. up with you briefly in uh, Cartersville. Yes. Remember that was a great event. Let's talk with about that. Gil Tell them and, about it. We were with Gil and Marlou in Cartersville, Georgia. Yep. And so because I was there for another launch of another United uh, Intentions. Yep. Sounds familiar, yep. Yep. doesn't it? United Intentions Media Network and um, filmed a show with that. But we and then we were filmed together and then you went on with your East Coast tour. Yeah. But wasn't it a great group with it was Gilles awesome. It was awesome. We actually have uh so that East Coast tour that some of you know about, most of those actually all of those events ended up selling out, which was awesome for all those centers. But we actually filmed a movie, and that movie is called Empowered. You're obviously in it from that event. Oh. <laughs> and Empowered is going to be a series all around the world. So the East Coast tour is going to be the first Empowered movie all about the miracles that we're seeing around the world, coupled with a lot of lessons that people need to learn. You know, it's it's not as simple. And I think now people are starting to be educated on this because we're really pushing on that. But it doesn't work the way that people think it works because a lot of people like giving their power away and saying, OK, what do I have to do? I'm going to go sit in a chair and everything's going to be great. And it's just, it's not how it works. No, I talk about healing is not outside in, it's inside out. Yes. This is about activating the light within you so that as you radiate more light, nothing that's not of the light can affect you. When you have that activation of that light and that charge within you, the body wants to discharge what does not support your greatest life. I'm actually going to show a video because it, it goes perfectly into what you're mm -hmm. saying right now. There's a video that we're releasing to everybody all around the world, all center owners everywhere, every single one of them and all of you. That's very, very important to watch and understand it's only two minutes and it explains what Dr. Michael just said in a very simple way. I love it. Optimal health does not start outside of the body. It starts within, more specifically within the cells of your body. If your cells are not properly charged, you will experience disease as opposed to health. The cells in your body hold an electrical charge, otherwise known as millivolts. A healthy cell holds an electrical charge between 70 to 90 millivolts, whereas a cancerous cell holds a charge below 20 millivolts. In other words, sickness can be measured by a weaker charge in your cells, whereas health is measured by a higher electrical charge in your cells. Through scalar wave technology and biophotonic light, the EE system gives a boost to the cells in your body, keeping them at their optimal charge of 70 to 90 millivolts. Spending time in this technology is like recharging the battery of your body, giving you more strength, vitality, and energy to thrive. Clinical trials have shown that the EE system technology assists in cell regeneration, neurotransmitter functions, immune function, and so much more. And this research has been acknowledged by many in both the medical and scientific communities. Thousands around the world are reporting benefits such as mood elevation, lower stress levels, pain relief across the board, increased energy levels, emotional stability, improved immune function, and that's just the tip of the iceberg. 
this is what the future of technology looks like. And the good news is it's already here. Hundreds of centers have opened around the world in just the past 12 months alone, and we've only just begun. Are you ready to experience what this technology has to offer you? You can find a location near you at unifiedhealing.com. Now, what you guys just watched is an ad that we created to put a lot of money behind to be able to run a campaign. But that video is for everybody. That video, if you want to center on the network, off the network, if you want to open up a center, if you want to share it, you cut it however you want. You take that and you share it because that needs to be shared to educate every single person that walks into this pl these places. It's already a learning curve to understand how this thing works. So to make it as simple as possible, that's how we do it. So that's one of the ads that we're going to be putting out. But you explained something about millivoltage. Why don't you, uh, you know, acknowledge that to be able to tell people the technicalities? Yes, yeah, because it, it is cellular millivoltage, which has to do with your cell membrane potential. But in there, in the video, it talked about seventy to ninety millivoltage when healthy. Technically, to put that in the correct um, scientific language, it would be negative 70 to 90 millivoltage. But that's a little confusing for people when you're talking about positive benefits and they hear a negative. So, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but essentially what it is, is it recharges your cells like you recharge your cell phone. It's wireless, <laughs> wireless technology, yep. wireless transmission. And the power that made the body heals by, this is like how we plug the body back into the cosmic light socket. 100%. Universal, infinite power we want to claim our you know we want to be empowered to be the real true to live to walk as the realized sons and daughters of god absolutely there have been a lot of testimonials that i've heard over the past 12 months now i know it's not new to you because you've been doing this for a long time but i, I it's it's new to me and it's so true to me because i see common themes across the board that's when i said okay you know what you're seeing a bunch of people saying the same exact thing there must be something to it. There's something a whole lot bigger than what I thought in the beginning when I wasn't, you know, educated on the inner workings of how this works. And every single day, I'm learning more and more and more, and it's awesome. So with that, I want to share a few things, and I want to hear some of your stories as well. Okay, because we just love miracles. And yes. We've seen, you know, crazy miracles, what I like to call crazy miracles, yeah. because we're very, very blessed. And we've seen anything and everything really have profound benefits. <laughs> beautiful, beautiful way of saying it. <laughs> so one of the few things that I've seen, and I want to just preface with something over here that what I'm about to share has nothing to do with a medical claim. I'm sharing people's experiences, their observations, what they've gone through. This is not saying that this is going to happen to everybody because we can't make a claim like that. This is just saying this is what we've seen happen to others based on people's reports, just to put that out there right. to make it super simple and obvious. And, no, that's, and that's really, really important. We don't heal, fix, or cure anything, and the technology certainly does not do that. Mm. This is just a healthy, energetic environment we would have in an ideal, optimal world where the body and and civilization and the planet was supported in its ideal optimal energy. So it's just healthy energy. So there is no contraindication. It can only help, can't hurt, because it's just healthy energy. Understood. Understood. So one, one of the things that I saw that really blew my mind, and I think a lot of you know about this case already, you're going to hear a lot more about it over the next probably one to two months when Empowered comes out that movie is uh, a kid. He's not so much a kid anymore. He's actually, I mean, technically I can't say that because I'm, I'm still young, but he's, <laughs> he's 19 years old. His name is Dylan Berry. Mm -hmm. He's amazing. I got to meet him myself and he's been going to the Mount Kisco location, Mount mm -hmm. Kisco, New York. And basically Michelle Adams, the owner of the Mount Kisco location sent me an email saying, listen, we're, we're helping him out. He has autism. He's 19 years old. And over the past few months, we've seen his grades get a whole lot better because his brain is functioning in a better way. And he's been saying it himself also, my brain is functioning better. So I said, listen, set up an interview. I want to speak to Dylan. Mm -hmm. Maybe we could do something where we'll send him a cube. So instead of always coming to your center, you can have something 24 seven. It's not the same level of being at a center, but let's see what can be done with that. Mm -hmm. So I interviewed him. We sent him a cube. He was extremely grateful. Mm -hmm. And then from that, we started going down a deeper rabbit hole with him of understanding, you know, what he's doing and where he wants to go in his life. So as an autistic person at age 19, 
he was he was uh, uh, accepted by High Point University, which was amazing. His grades got good enough throughout that period of, of a few months that he was actually able to go to High Point University. The only problem was that he didn't have the funding to do it. He didn't have the money to do it. So I interviewed him and his mom. I asked people to help fundraise and they raised a good amount of money, but not enough to cover at least the first semester. So one of the things that we surprised mm -hmm. Dylan with on this tour in honor of EES and everything that's going on here is we covered the rest on behalf of everybody. Oh, right? I was going to ask what the update we, were. Well, we, that's we covered the rest of, of that first semester to start. We're going to ask everybody else to continue funding so we can push him through college for the amount of years necessary to show somebody like Dylan, number one, you could do whatever you want to do. You could do whatever you set your mind to, no matter what anybody tells you, you can't. And if you really set your mind to that and somebody like Dylan succeeds, well, then Dylan can show everybody else in his situation they can do it also. So yeah. that's and really because of you guys. And it's brain function, you know, enhanced brain function and, yeah. and super learning states it's because the synapses and everything's firing in the brain. So we've, we've actually done a lot of brain research. We've seen a lot with improved brain function. But I'll give another example of a, a boy who at 10 years old could not read, could not read every day, was studying over, uh, could not read, uh, took a nap, uh, that ultimate power nap in, in an EE system. Three days later, he was reading. Well, he became valedictorian of his class. His, his mother bought an EE system. Yeah. But he became valedictorian and, and became high function Navy SEAL. Wow. Yeah. So people, you know, you can achieve whatever it is. If you have the right energy, the body wants to function perfectly. Absolutely. Absolutely. One of the other cases I don't think I told you about, his yeah. name is Matthew. Matthew Hastings is his name. 27 years old. I met him in Hendersonville, North Carolina at one of the events. Mm -hmm. And he was the last person that came up to me on a walker. And you saw that his body wasn't functioning the right way, but his brain was, was sharp. And he comes up to me and he looks at me and he looks up at me and he says, Jason, my brain doesn't work well. My body hurts and doesn't work well. And I need to fix this. We started talking and talking and talking. You don't know how much I cried. <laughs> After I left that place, it was, it was, yeah. But basically what, what happened throughout that experience was again, all in your honor with EES and everything that we're doing over here with the initiative. He kept saying, he's like, I can't wait to get a cube. I can't wait to get a cube. I can't wait to get a cube. So I called Michael. I said, Michael, send Matthew a cube. And he, what, him and his mom, they got the cube already. They set it up. And now we're going to be updating and, and getting those updates from them to see how somebody like Matthew can benefit from something like that as well. Because Matthew is in a condition where doctors say there is nothing you can do to help you. Yeah. How Let's many see. times have we heard that? Whether it's sent to hospice. Or, 100%. Or it's what's called fixed neuro deficit after a stroke more than three and a half years later or whatever, where they say there'll never be another improvement. Yeah. And we see return to full function. We love those miracles. And, and yeah, I mean, so how's he doing now? I still have to be updated with him. This okay. only happened like two and a half weeks ago at Hendersonville, North Carolina. So it's still new. He still just got it. Okay. And I have to keep tabs on them and see what's going on. But he's also going to be in the movie and empower. It's going to be awesome when it comes out. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. yeah. And that's what it's about. The, you know, save the kids. The kids are where it's at. That's our future. And with the statistics, the way they've been of the health of children, I mean, Del Big Tree yep. has brought a lot of the information out with plan uh, with them. Um, was, uh, what was his original one? Uh, vaxxed. That's right. But the statistics were that you know, it was like 54% of kids had some sort of acute chronic dis-ease. Yeah. But what we've seen with kids using the technology has been nothing short of miraculous in that one of our guys became like the top pick in the nation in basketball. Another one went to the Olympics, the Junior Olympics in judo. Wow. Yeah, I mean, peak performance. We're talking very, I mean, I mean, first place. And again, all yeah. of this, and I'm going to reiterate over and over again, all of this is based on observations that we're seeing and stories and testimonials mm -hmm. that are being shared. We are working right now. Actually, I'm going to show you guys on this website because it's extremely important, a different way of organizing and therefore expressing data 
on unifiedhealing.com on the testimonial section, there's something that says submit a condition improvement. And that will take you to a certain form that asks you some questions. It only takes about a minute. You click start and go through that process. And basically this is taking the testimonials that come through with videos and text and actually get getting it and gathering it through certain data points where next time somebody comes in and says, well, how many hours do I need for X, Y, or Z? Today, you can't answer something like that because there's no such thing as being able to answer something like that. And even down the line, there's no such thing as 100% anything because every single person's body is different. However, if you have enough people filling out the submissions, the, the conditions of improvement form, then we can say based on a thousand people that submitted this form that have X ailment, this is their testimony of what they've seen in an organized manner. And if we can do that, then we still can't say this is what you need and this is what's going to happen, right? You can't make any form of claim like that because number one, you're not allowed. And number two, it's not true. It's not 100%. It's all based on the person's body, but there are statistics if gathered in a certain way. So the conditions improvement form is one of those ways to start gathering that data and be able to share it reported and based on the people, by the people, for the people, to be able to share that with the world and express it in a coherent way. Yeah, we always love more research and that gives more of a database. It's like a multi-site study. But, 100%. But, but also always want to remind people that it's, this is holistic health. It ultimately is up to you and your own body what you do with the energy. But I always talk about being empowered. Yeah. Empowerment means making healthier, more intelligent, more informed choices. Yep. Healthier choices for yourself and, and your body and, and your situation. So that includes holistic health means quit paying to poison yourself. Real simple stuff. Do the detox baths, the salt baths, because that works with the body's energy and the charge in the body, drinking a lot more water, you know, supporting detoxification every which way, which also means the emotional diarrhea. What I call behind the toxins in the body come in the emotional toxicity. And people have to be willing to let go of their old negative thought forms, we'll, we'll just call it that and let go, because ultimately it's an emotional and, and a spiritual. Um, it, it, it's when you realize what there is to know that you no longer need those symptoms. I love that you brought that up. I want to speak on that. But before we switch topics and move into a few lessons that I think people need to be aware of, we have an in-studio guest that I'd like to bring on, if it's okay with you. <laughs> her name she is didn't know that. her name is Anne. Anne owns one of two centers in uh it's an in-home. There, there's two places that you can go to in Naples specifically. One is run by Anne in Naples. Yeah. You you want to come? Right. Come, 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 come. It's, it's referral only. Yeah. Okay, so we're not gonna talk about her place, but I like if you're okay with it, if you if you'd be open to sharing anything and, and what you've seen from your perspective. I'm taking my chair. I'm right here. <laughs> and I'm just going to, I'm going to step out of camera, take it for, for a minute or two. And then oh we'll boy. Hi, this is unexpected. <laughs> <laughs> totally. Okay. Um, so, I mean, I've had my, uh, my system for maybe two and a half years. So it's a little before the, um, the, the launching a year and ago. It was originally on Long Island. It was an eight unit system on Long Island. And and I know you were um, your NY former NYPD retired mm -hmm. now. Yeah, but you were having some of the 9/11 um, first responders yes. using it, and, and some of the um, you know the the first responders and from the police department and things like that for their traumas. And, yeah, I couldn't wait to yeah. have them come in just for the fact that I wanted to see what this could do. And, you know, um, I really wanted to get this for my dogs. I'm a dog person. I love my animals. <laughs> and I was like, let's get this in. The dogs need this. <laughs> so I've actually had first responders animals in there. I've had first responders themselves in there, you know, when we could find the time in our super busy schedule, um, you know, but I've heard, you know, just wonderful testimonials. And it was wonderful just to hear from just uh, even like the smaller groups that I had um, just visiting my my home then um, just to hear their testimonials, like just yeah. casually. It was amazing. It really was. That's where I was yeah. like, okay, there's something here. I mean, my dogs really couldn't 
you know, be, they had no pl- placebo effect. They had no idea what they were in. You so you even- share one of the cool dog stories or a couple of them? Um, sure. Well, I have- Those are easy. We can- well, I- And there's no placebo for dogs. Yeah, yeah there's no placebo. Right. There's no placebo. I mean, I've had, my, my dog had like an injury in one of his legs, uh, like a rear leg, and he became- uh, you know, three-legged for a period of time. We put him in the system. He was in there for, you know, honestly, I don't, I mean, I don't like putting time frames, but I didn't put him in there that much because, you know, he, you know, he likes to be uh, like, you know, it's, it was downstairs and he really likes to be upstairs. That's like where the light is, but, you know, so he would hang out in there for a little bit and within maybe like two or three sessions, he was back up and running on all fours, no problems. Um, you know, and he's an older dog, he's 15 years old. So it was really wonderful to see that regenerative effect on, you know, my baby, you know, yeah, <laughs> your fur baby. There's uh, yeah. Baby. yeah. Save, save the fur babies. So, <laughs> yeah. Uh, Similar story. You moved it. Oh yeah. You moved so your system to Naples. So now that I'm in Naples. Retired, moved it. Mm-hmm. And now it's a 12 unit, but yes. there's another similar dog story. Yes. I actually have a neighbor that has five dogs. And one of these dogs is a a bomb dog, you know, from um, Afghanistan, I believe. Um, and this dog um, has been three legged for two years due to his own, um, I guess, diabetes. Is- yeah, diabetic issues. Um, so this, this dog has not walked for two years, has been on three legs, I should say. He's been walking three legs. And um, last month, he started walking on all fours again, like nothing. And he hasn't been in the system. He's just next door. And not only that, my, my neighbor was telling me like, you know, he used to hang out on the opposite side of the house. Now he hangs out on only your side of the house, which is interesting. So now I see him, uh, you know, by my house now, it's really, it's cool. And dogs don't know any better. So it's really wonderful. Thank you. Thank you for sharing. Thank you. (laughs) All right. So um, I'm glad you brought up the dog stories because one of the things that really got me in the beginning when I was still in the phase of what's going on here was my sister's dog. You know, he's a six to eight pound poodle, toy poodle, small, the cutest thing in the world. I love him. And he had a, he had like a four centimeter tumor basically in his neck. And it was three nights in, in Verona, New Jersey, a 24 unit system in Verona, New Jersey. And again, this was just his experience. So maybe not all done. I'm, I'm going to keep saying it over and over again. But with his experience, my aunt, who had her first experience, um, brought Shoko is his name, this little cute dog. And he slept in the in the 24 unit system for uh, three nights and it went away, you know, and it, it wasn't there. So it's a really, really fascinating thing to see it happen on animals to me more than humans, because the human beings, you can always say placebo, power of the mind, things like that, which doesn't negate anything, but there's another factor with dogs. You know, there's there's a whole different ball game that we're playing with here, which means that maybe there is something objective, you know, and we're seeing that in terms of these these testimonials and experiences that are being shared. So thank you for sharing that. Uh, <laughs> yeah, you want to hear the one of the miraculous? Sure. Ones? Go for I, went, it. I went to New York and and this gentleman who'd been 9-11 first responder, giant of a man giant and he wanted to meet me to to thank me because he had been using an system and he had had uh, from the asbestos fiberglass uh, melanomas uh, uh, he had had uh, like you know just uh as you know from the asbestos it's it, it's the can- lung cancer from that mesothelioma type things but through his whole body many surgeries and he went back to his doctor after a number uh, four, 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 sessions. four sessions she's she's telling four me yeah, four, four, weeks. four weeks once a week once a week four weeks went back and they said there was no active cancer it's amazing and his neuropathy he said went from like a nine to a two and then so there's yeah, his okay. neuropathy went from <laughs> at least the nine to two, but we hear that a lot because of the microcirculation and the nerve cell regeneration. So we hear a lot about neuropathy improvements. So you you brought up the the spiritual aspect of it, and I want to touch up on that. I'm starting to create like educational videos to be mm-hmm. able to not just the EES side, physically speaking, but the spiritual lessons that I think people are starting to forget or maybe have not 
been aware of to begin with. So there's something that you said earlier that I want to touch up on to everybody watching here. And it's really important to understand yourself beyond just a physical being and to understand what being a spiritual being as well means when it comes to this technology and how it can actually impact you. So I'm going to make it real simple and maybe down the line, I'll post a longer video about this, but let's say you have knee pain. Okay, that knee pain is something that you're experiencing physically, but there's a spiritual root there. There's a lesson to learn from. And that knee pain, until you learn the lesson, I don't care what you do and how advanced anything is, cannot actually take that away from the root because the root is not the physical knee pain. The root is the spiritual lesson behind it. So when you're going to these centers around the world and you're experiencing this, in my opinion, and I'm going to generalize, but in my opinion, the difference between person A and person B with the same condition, one walks out completely different than the other, is that one was more connected to understanding that lesson, spiritually speaking, and the other was still stuck on the physical. So I ask you guys, when you go to these centers and when you do anything in life, it's not just with ES technology, it's with everything in life, understand that your pain is a manifestation of something deeper. Solve it from the root and it will not return. Solve it from the branch and it may go away temporarily, but it will come back, maybe not in the same way, but in a different way. Because if you have a tree with a poisonous seed, you can cut the branches off all you want. The branches are going to keep growing. They're going to look different. They're still going to have the same point. Recreating the same until you change the consciousness, the thought pattern. Exactly. The connection. Or I like to talk about cellular knowing. And you're using the energy to turn up the volume on your own inner knowing. Yes, it helps decalcify by the pineal gland and opens its ideal optimal meditation states. And so I tell people, ask and you shall receive. Let yourself know whatever God wants you to know. But what if you could know whatever there is to know, the knowing which allows all things to totally clear yeah. as issues in your body, your life, your relationships, for our whole world. 100%. That, yeah. That's what true holistic healing is. It's not just a physical thing. It's a physical thing with the awareness of a spiritual root. There's one thing I want to share while we're already here on testimonials. This video is still yeah. not edited, so I'm just going to go for it. It is about five minutes, but you guys are going to enjoy this. It's a guy named Ray, not the Ray that you guys know, <laughs> but it's a guy named Ray that we met at the event that we were speaking at together in Cartersville, oh. uh, uh, Georgia. And I want you guys to hear a story because it's beautiful and it's powerful. Hi, my name is Ray. My last name is Meadows. I'm 70 years old. And I have a story to tell about cancer. I no longer have it, though. That's, that's the good part. Bad part's when they first told you about it three years ago. Started out with prostate cancer. Uh, I never knew anything about prostate cancer until then. And I also had heard it was pretty fatal in a lot of instances. So it had me worried. And so I got doing some study on it, found out uh, what they could, could not do. And then I had to find out what I wanted. I wanted to live. I have a family. I have children. I have grandchildren. I have great grandchildren. I want to see all of them grow up. If I can love them, spoil them. That's the best part about being a grandparent. Anyway, back to cancer. Not only did I have prostate, I had lung cancer. I also had here on this side, they say it's possible cancer too. So started out test after test after test, biopsy after biopsy. It never seemed to get any better. Pain never got no better. They just kept popping pills in me one after another, until about this time a year ago, I got to talk to a surgeon from Emory Hospital here in Georgia. Uh, I was told he was one of the best. And we'll leave it, it there. Anyway, he gave me three options. 
I can either go chemo, I can go radiation, or have complete removal of the prostate. I said, good. Let's go with the last. Let's get just remove it. He said, but he said, we got a problem. He said, you've still got lung cancer and you still got a tumor. I told him, I said, well, you're neither one of the surgeons for that. I said, there's someone else. I said, but I've also done a study, Doc, that leakage could get involved. So what are we going to do in case it leaked? It's all done by robotics. About this time, I was hearing about the EE system. And Mr. Spencer introduced me to it. They were just getting started. He'd been to a lot of uh, programs outside of Georgia. He done his research. He got one. He got a 12, uh, 12 units in his basement. And I started going two nights a week. And sometimes I'd take on the weekend if I had off, I would do an eight hour sleepover. And this went on and on and on. It went ahead and did the removal of the prostate, but I still had the lung cancer and the tumor. So I continued to go with the EE system every week two to three hours, a couple of times a week. And like I say, if not every weekend, every other weekend, I'd do an eight hour sleepover. First this year, went back to my MRI and my, my PET scan. The MRI still showed the tumor and the spots on the lung. So they did the PET scan. PET scan came back, showed both again. Three months ago from today, I went back for another PET scan and another MRI. And when I went, came back and I got the results a day later. Usually it takes about a week, but I got it back a day later. And I was totally surprised. They told me. The tumor had disappeared. They told me that my lung cancer had disappeared also. Last month, I went back again for CAT scans just to get, do a double check, second opinion. I wasn't having any issues breathing. I wasn't having any issues with memory. So I went back. Did my pet, not my PET scan, but my CAT scan again. And it came back and showed nothing. It was gone. Since that time, I've been taking the supplements that Mr. Spencer has to offer here. And I still continue to come twice a week and every other weekend. And I'll continue this. And that's all I've got to say. And I am just, I'm, well, no, I take it back. I'm cancer free. And EES is one of the reasons why. <laughs> Be happy. God bless you. Thank you. You were my favorite one. I have to go through it. And, and you know, we have a bunch of those. We have yeah, a bunch of those. For he's the crying. We're crying. Like, <laughs> oh, my gosh. It's, yeah. it's amazing to hear people's stories. I got to hear them firsthand because I met a lot of them. Mm -hmm. and, and you really get to see people sharing their own stories. Of, again, I know we call them miracles. I don't call them miracles. A miracle is something that doesn't happen often, right? When something starts happening often, it becomes a part of reality. So it's, it's in the best way possible becoming normal. Now you're, you're normalizing something that was once out of the blue and very, very rare, which is we're more thing. surprised when the miracles don't happen. <laughs> then you have to look at what what is there yet to learn. Yes. Because you can never, you can't make people heal. But it's also, you know, like I said, as soon as you get the message from higher self or from God, what something's about, then there's no more need for the symptom. So it's always a spiritual journey. 100%. 100%. So I want to remind everybody over here of a few things. Number one, and it's extremely important to understand this, we have to stop outsourcing our power. We've been taught to do that. We've been programmed to do that. 
everything that you have within your body is every solution that you need for your body to correct itself because that's what it's always trying to do. The way that we know that health is the natural state of the body is because the body is always trying to get back into a state of homeostasis and balance whenever it comes out of it. When you cut yourself, you could be asleep, you could be awake, you could be in a coma, it doesn't matter. That cut will start healing itself, not because you told it to, not because you did something for it, but because that is what everything is always trying to do in nature, not just in your body, but in nature. It's always trying to heal itself, correct itself, balance itself, and bring itself back into homeostasis. Give it the proper environment to do that, and it will do that just that. So I want to remind everybody again, in three days from now, we have the revolution coming out. It's all about what happened in India. It's a beautiful documentary, about an hour and 15 minutes. I want to show you guys one more video before we bring this to a close. Let's see if I can pick up the right one. Not that one, but this one. There are many, many, many parts on this planet, parts of this planet that are experiencing that disease. And we are not doing enough about it to make a change because we're only thinking about ourselves. Let's use that money and bring this technology to people and countries around the world that can't afford it for free. If you just used one to 2% more of your brain on a daily basis, your ability to comprehend the general things in the world will expand so significantly. You are living subconscious life, not pure conscious life. What allows maximum capacities for light and life force energy? How do you create maximum benefit? And asking, okay, God, now how do we create the next quantum leap of consciousness for this planet. There's a 24 unit energy enhancement system being installed in an ashram about 15 minutes away from here in a room that could fit over 500 people simultaneously at any given time. And that room will be open to anybody at no cost to anybody whatsoever. There is no such thing as failing. It's not an option, it's not a possibility. It's not even a potential. Now imagine a world of unity, of health, of wealth, in all ways, of harmony, of love. One without all the nonsense that we're seeing in the world today. There will come a day, I promise you, that the world will not look like this anymore. So there's a link to be able to watch that both on my YouTube channel, Saturday, May 27, 12 p.m. Eastern time, exactly one year after the one year anniversary since that initial interview that Dr. Sandra Rose Michael and I put out on May 27th at 12 p.m. Eastern time of 2022. It's both on my YouTube channel. It's happening at unifiedhealing.com as well, but it's the same video premiering at the same time. So make sure to check that whole thing out and make sure to spread the word because we can make this even bigger than that first interview so long as people share it. That first interview created waves and it created something that's that's unprecedented. It's incredible to see. And again, and I remind you all always over and over again, this isn't because of one person. It's not a be because about some billionaire that came with a lot of money. It's bigger than all of that. It's when a collective comes together to make a shift is when you have a collective shift. What I learned in India when we were there together was you can throw as much money as you want at that country. It's not going to change the problems. What's going to change the problems, is, like you said, is if you change the consciousness that created that problem in the first place. And if you can do that, you can change the world. So again, I want to remind everybody, watch the revolution on Saturday. I wanted to say thank you to all Unified Healing Center owners that made this possible when it comes to this network specifically. You guys have helped fund this. You guys have helped make it what it is. You've helped everybody and everybody is helping everybody over here. When you go to unifiedhealing.com, you can click find a center and you'll be able to find a center near you. You're going to start seeing a lot of advertisements all around the world with this because we're starting something really big on June 1st that I'm super excited for. It's all around the US. It's in Canada. It's in many countries all around Europe. It's in South Africa. It's in Egypt. It's in Australia. It's in New Zealand. We have the free one in India. And we're going to be doing something big next upcoming in the Philippines from there. We're going to start covering Africa as a whole. 
So again, this is thanks to every single one of you that are spreading the word. It's thanks to every single one of you that are making that possible. If you are in one of those countries that, that qualify for the Helping Hand program, make sure to apply at unifiedhealing.com forward slash THHP. And if you do want to apply to open up a center, hopefully we can. If not, if we can't because there are too many in a given area, you'll be put on a wait list and down the line, we'll come back to you and say, it's open, let's keep moving. It's all about doing things responsibly, making sure that demand and supply are equal, right? You can't have too much centers without enough demand. Otherwise, people can fail and we don't want that to happen. So we're responsibly growing, even though we're growing extremely fast and we're doing whatever we can around the world to bring this everywhere. So again, I want to say thank you to all the owners that made this possible. And, and Jason, thank you for all the tireless work. Thank people you. don't <laughs> see how hard you work behind the scenes. And what, I appreciate what that. all you've done. It's not been easy. It's a lot. We've all been working. <laughs> We've all been We've really all working been since I came out. Oh my gosh. But you know, you know, but it is we are the combined unified presence that heals the world. And the only thing beyond our love is more fully shared love. So please share, share, share. Absolutely. Yeah, I appreciate that. I, mean, I don't <laughs> I, I don't hear it. I, I, I just know. go, I just go we and get, put everything out. We get the complaints. We get the instead. complaints. Oh my gosh, complaints. complaints or people are blaming whatever. Yes, but, yes. But it's bigger than that. It's, it's bigger. Let's share the love and we'll just keep sharing it anyway. <laughs> thank you. Thank you. And thank you all for being here. Thank you guys for being a part of this. I look forward to the documentary on Saturday and let's make it reach the world. I appreciate you guys. I love you guys. And I'll see you all tomorrow. I believe at either 5 p.m. or 7 p.m. We got another, another really big live show. So make sure to tune in. It's going to be a good one. See you guys then.